Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new sewing vlog. Let's call it like this. I hope it's not going to be a really long one, but I do have a lot of uh, things to share with you. So, um, this uh, last day I wasn't... Um, I did not have enough time to, to sew everything that I wanted because, um, you know, life is happening and I'm not always uh, behind the, the sewing machine. But I did finish something today and I'm really, really happy that I did because it was uh, something that I had planned. So today I want to show you uh, the next thing for the next sewing tutorial that is coming here on the channel very soon. I have two battery patterns that I want to share with you that are on my uh, sewing list. I have uh, a few fabrics from Minerva and um, let me think. Oh, and I got some lace from uh, Aliexpress. I know not everybody is a big fan of Ali Aliexpress, but I did buy some laces there and I want to show them to you. And uh, oh, and the last uh, knitting project that I finished and also uh, the one that is on my needles. So starting with uh, the thing that I uh, finished today, that will be the sewing tutorial for the next uh, designer stitch pattern. Uh, that will be the real jumpsuit, which I'm wearing tonight. And uh, I really wanted to make um, a tutorial for this jumpsuit. It's a really fun one. It's super mega comfortable. It's made in uh, um, jersey knit. It's really soft and very, very, very comfortable. And um, I was, uh, so I was choosing my fabric, which one to use for the tutorial. And first I had this one. And then I was thinking, well, it's going to look a little bit crazy on the on the cam, so I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to choose a, totally another fabric. And I was um, I set my uh, thoughts on this one. Well, all good. I started filming. I cut it. I started filming. At the moment, I realized that uh, <laughs> when I was done with with my bodies, I realized that I forgot to put my microphone on. And this microphone, when I'm using it with my phone, I don't need to switch a button. But when I put it on my uh, video cam, I do need to to put uh, to switch a button, you know, to have it uh, to have it on. You know, I'm going to put a sweater on because I have it cold. And uh, so I realized that, and I was like, oh my god, what I'm going to do now? So I just. Uh, continued uh, with uh, with the pants part of the jumpsuit because the bodice was nothing to do and I was thinking you know I'm going to make a voiceover and then uh, I'm going to use the that part also but then when I went to my computer and put the video on the computer I realized that I skipped also some other parts where I forgot to put the cam on so it was a complete disaster, a disaster. so in the end I had to still cut the the first one that I planned and uh, I filmed the upper part of the jumpsuit in this fabric and uh, for the rest the pants and putting together is filmed with uh, with uh, with this one so i just wanted to show you the the jumpsuits that i made until now so with only the brielle uh, jumpsuit from a designer stitch that is up for releasing somewhere next week or something like that so i i made this one and you see the jumpsuit has a few leg options I made this one. This is also a rayon jersey. It's a really fun colored one. And it's a wrap ju jumpsuit. It's really wrapping here um, in the bodies. And then, because I had this pattern already for a time where I need to put this, there's a lot of uh, stuff here. And then for, because I had the pattern, I used uh, the same one for the sparkly one that I had on my, uh, at the end of the year uh, home party. And then this one, this is one with a slimmer leg. This one was really the first one. And because uh, I really wanted to try the shorter, the cropped length of the pants, I made this one. And this one is made in a more stable knit. And it was actually really nice to try different patterns, different fabrics, different type of fabrics with the same pattern. And actually the most, the biggest change or the, the biggest difference, I find that it was in how the crotch length was uh, affected uh, uh, from the, of, um, 
in combination with the type of fabric that I used, the crotch length, and not so much for the rest, but that was something. And uh, what I came up with uh, in the first one, in this one, because I had one time a uh, jumpsuit that were, the crotch came all the way to my knees, I uh, used some clear elastic in the crotch and that was, that's really perfect. And also here I have some clear elastic just sewn uh, at the moment that I'm sewing the uh, crotch seam and putting the clear elastic as I usually do with the um, uh, shoulder seams and one-on-one, -on -one, so no stretching or anything, and that works really, really nice. So that's a tip for jumpsuits or for pants in uh, rayon jerseys. And also, I was thinking when... Uh, what did I make last? Oh, I made the Buddha uh, sweater that was uh, is here with the tutorial from, from last week. And I was thinking that uh, I was making that and I still have a little bit of fabric to... and I really want to have a pair of joggers from that fabric, from the French Terry from Minerva. And I don't know if the print is going to work nicely with the pant, but then I was thinking that would be my perfect pair of pants because that, um, that French Terry is so nice. I have another pair made with the same type of fabric, but in another print. So I was thinking, well, there, there will be my home pants. And then I'm, I was also thinking that every time when, when you hear that, uh, well, I will just wear it around the house. Most of the people, they say that when there is something that they don't like or they are uh, insecure to wear it outside and then they say, okay, I'm just, it's ugly, I'm going to wear, I'm not so confident to wear it outside, I'm going to wear it uh, at home. But I was thinking, I am most of the time at home and I want to have my clothes um, comfortable, but also, you know, looking nice. So yeah, I have now five jumpsuits. Well, I'm not going to wear the sparkly one every day at home, but the rest, they are really, really nice ones. Even if I don't go outside. I mean, this one, it has some, uh, unfortunately, uh, some uh, uh, misplaced uh, balls around uh, my uh, lower backside. <laughs> so I'm, I don't think I'm going to wear this outside, but around the home, that's for me, my uh, office uh, wear. It's going, it's, it's, it's a really, really comfortable, uh, garment. So that is about the tutorial. So the tutorial is done. I only need to do some editing to put all the, 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 the things together, but it's going to be okay. And I'm going to share it at the moment that the jumpsuit is going to be released. Again, Brielle from Designer Stitch. Um, next on my uh, sewing table, and this is really my next... Uh, well, I do have another um, project from Designer Stitch that I need to pretest. But first I'm going to make, uh, Minerva has at the moment, for uh, this month they have a battery uh, challenge, sewn with bat battery. And I have uh, two patterns from them, which they are going to come uh, very soon. Uh, this one, I actually they are both traced and ready to go. This is battery 6875. I think you see it uh, in a uh, uh, mirror image. But, but it's battery 6875 and I already trace it. I really like the um, the twist here at the front. And I'm I'm thinking now because if I'm if I'm watching this, I see here, you know, it's looking like there are some pleats, but to be honest, I don't th do you see this? I'm just seeing this now that there are some pleats here, but there are no pleats in the in the pattern actually. I have it here, it's already traced. It does look a little bit huge, I hope it's not really too big. So this is uh, the front and I want to make, I'm thinking I'm, I want to make view B with the elastic in the in the sleeves but I might, it depends how it's going to fall in my fabric. But I'm really intrigued why they put those splits in the neckline, you see, especially in the green version. While on the pattern you don't really see that. So yeah, and the fabric that I chose, actually the construction is really, really easy. I was thinking it's going to be something crazy, but um, the facing is stitched on the bodies and then you make a slit and then you turn stuff, you know. I had to cough a little bit. I have no water here. So um, the fabric that I'm going to use is this one. From close by, it's not looking so crazy. 
from far away is looking kind, kind of crazy. And it's a um, cotton linen blend, I think. And this is from Dresden Stoffen. And I think it's going to be really nice to wear, actually. And I expect that it's going to be also very easy to sew. And the next pattern that I have uh, for the Sony Battery Challenge from Minera is this one. It's Battery 6855. And this one has some really nice details. I love the, the maybe you can see, I uh, want to make view B. Can you see it? View B, this one with the um, uh, pin tucks on the sleeve. It has a nice yoke in the back with gathers. I think it's a really cute blouse. So I'm going to make this one. Also, it's already traced. And I think I'm going to make it in this rayon, which is actually really orange. It's looking something like what you see on the screen. So I think this one is going to be, I'm not sure I still can change my mind. So these battery patterns are going to be on my, um, on my table now. Uh, next, I said I get I got some uh, fabrics from Minerva uh, yesterday, I think. And do you recognize this one? Can you imagine? I liked this fabric so much that I asked it two times. So this fabric is actually the same what I used for my uh, Pipa dress from um, Sew so Over It from a few weeks ago. And it's a really cool fabric. I really love the colors in this one. And I think the plan for this one is going to be a pair of uh, pajamas. And I have a really cool pattern, again, from Designer Stitch. I know I'm repeating myself. And uh, I think that one is going to be used for, uh, for, that, uh, for, for that pattern. Uh, here I have another uh, Rayon Shali from... Uh, from Minerva, which is really gorgeous. And this one, it's going to be a dress. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dress. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous print. And the last one, this one, I was really excited to get this one. You'll recognize this print because it's something that I used in the Rayon Shali uh, version of it. I used it for, for the Maeve dress. I cannot remember, I made a dress with it. So it's, a, it's a dress that I like a lot. And this one is their new um, rayon jersey. I have my mic here, I don't want to mess it up. It's a really very, very soft. And actually this one could be used for, for the jumpsuit I'm wearing. This could be really nice. It's very stretchy. It has nice drape. It's stretchy in both ways. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And I love the, this print because it's looking almost like it's a little bit velvety, but it's not, it's just the print. So these were the fabri fabrics from Minerva and uh, for the rest, uh, yeah, sewing. This one here, and I'm not going to talk a lot about it. This one is also a designer stitch pattern. It's made in a um, kitty print fabric also from Minerva. This is also one of their chalets. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because I will talk a little bit more when the pattern is going to be ready for release. But it's a really, really nice one. And I cannot wait to share this one with you. You cannot see much details in it, can you? No. Okay, so sewing wise, this was a, oh yeah, this, uh, this sewing wise, this was everything. What I, the plans and what I am, um, what I made. So the tutorial very soon on the channel. And I really wanted to show you the, uh, laces from uh, Aliexpress and I know I went a little bit overboard with, with them but they are really gorgeous and I know the prices are what they are they are cheap but the quality is uh, is actually the same that I buy also in a lot of uh, 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 stores online stores uh, here in uh, Germany too so it's really I cannot say that the quality is bad. It's the great quality that I buy also here everywhere. This is really, and it's really beautiful. I mean, it's really hard to see. The colors are great. The stretch is nice. 
And actually, the times that it was taking uh, forever for laces to come, or for laces for anything, I'm going to put this down because I don't want to touch it with my microphone. The times that was taking uh, months for something to arrive from AliExpress is uh, behind because these ones, they came actually pretty fast, I think, lesser than two weeks. This is a red one. It's really gorgeous. And let's see, I have here a really wide one. And why I bought this one, so, well, I did not need to have to buy so much, of course. But when you are on AliExpress, it's like a black hole. <laughs> and I cannot stop buying stuff. This one is a really gorgeous one. And I was watching for laces because I want to make uh, one of, uh, you know, designer stitches, that really gorgeous camisole that just came out. And I just cannot... Um, Remember the name right now? What was the name? You know the one with the beautiful lace cups and stuff? I have on my Instagram, I have a post with, uh, with that camisole and these laces, you need to have stretch lace for the cups and for the rest of the lace that is coming here by the bust and behind in the back. So these are really gorgeous. And I have here quite a few more. And these ones are different color combinations of this pattern, which is gorgeous also. Of course, this lace is perfect for underwears and for camisoles, for whatever. Also, Designer Stitch has the um, Olivia bralette and with uh, also a few options for bottoms. And this would be really gorgeous because it's very stretchy and Oh, this one is also very nice. A black and red variation. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so this is about the lace. So I have here, sorry about the noise, just one more, which I think is really nice. Actually, it was not even good to see on the internet when I ordered it, but it's so beautiful. It has some uh, silver here in it. It's just gorgeous. And it's also very stretchy. Well, this was my uh, lace haul from uh, AliExpress. Uh, last, I wanted to show you the so the two sweaters that I made. This one you did already see it a few times on the channel, my cardigan. And I'm just going to pop it back on. And let's see. This one was already, it was actually really easy to knit. I used uh, a pattern from uh, the Adore book from uh, uh, Kim Hargreaves. This was her last book and I have here, look at this, this is so beautiful. This is uh, Fierce also from the same book and uh, this one was also surprisingly easy to knit. It's made in a bulky uh, yarn which makes it like, I finished this in less than one month and for me that's really, really, really fast. And last but not least, what I have uh, at the moment on my needles. It's a pattern from uh, Stolen Stitches from uh, Carol. And it's going to be a shawl. This is my first shawl ever. And I'm so far. <laughs> this is their uh, mystery uh, knit along. And I'm not sure it's going to be a shawl that I know. But further than that, I'm not sure what it's going to be. But I have also a lighter blue that is coming in at the moment. So I'm really, really excited about this one. So this was it. A lot of talking, a lot of stuff and projects. And I have a lot to, uh, to clean up here now. But I hope you enjoyed my uh, vlog. And I cannot wait to see you back on the channel with uh, my next tutorial for the Brielle jumpsuit. Bye, everybody.